all again Steve here with a an observation that I had made recently which is that people don't just do things for the money you know sometimes we think or maybe it's just me but get the impression that people won't do anything if you don't somehow compensate them with some sort of monetary um, compensation I, I mean well of course people do lots of stuff we go to because a lot of times we pay for stuff, go watch hockey games and all kinds of sporting events and go to clubs and what have you. But I'm talking about actual responsibility. And of course that's obvious too. I mean we have kids and we have family obligations or what we call obligations. We do those without monetary compensation. But things even outside of that. And a case in point is, which I come back to over and over again, is organizations, voluntary organizations like Toastmasters. So there's obviously a profit being had there, which is something other than monetary, because people actually pay to be there. It's it's sort of like school, right? Where there's a, where there's you pay a tuition to go and get something, and hopefully there's a profit somewhere down the road. But uh, Toastmasters, I've met lots of people who are just there year after year for it becomes almost like a community. But they do all sorts of things. They're like running an organization. They could be running a corporation and making lots of money doing that. But they do it anyway. And um, gosh, people without even a lot of experience can get really excited about this and have a great time with it. It's, and that's probably one of the profits too, is the great time. An example would be just two, two nights ago. One club that I'm associated with, which is a very new club. I mean, the club's been around for a long time, but the people who were there originally just all disappeared basically and this club was left with just a few people uh, with no direction really and uh, but with the dedication of a few we were able to build it back up again and now it's a very vibrant club just two nights ago we had a club contest for example and there were about 25 or 30 people in the room like all pretty much all the chairs used up and for an hour and three quarters we had six humorous speeches and six impromptu speeches what well, in the reverse order mind you and the whole award ceremony and awards given out interviews six interviews uh, some of the funniest um, humorous speeches I've ever heard I mean we're talking stand-up comedy quality and these were people who are new fairly young, enthusiastic, they're not getting paid, they're, they're paying to be there, and some of them, this is an executive committee, some of them put a lot of hard work into other meetings of organizing the, the events, and out of pocket sometimes for photocopying and this sort of thing, and bringing over Timbits and whatever has got to be at the meeting. I mean, this is, this is dedication. Dedication on the level that you'd see at a, um, you know, somebody's job, but a lot of times, the, the the job is we do things because we might lose the job, or like the motivation is not just from the heart, but this a lot of this seems from the heart. So, it, it, I think it's an example of how people people do in fact do things that are outside of their family and outside of. Um, you know, entertainment, just straight entertainment, for other than monetary purposes. Um, I know a guy, another guy who's uh, he's retired. He's a retired farmer, and he's you know always involved in the leadership side of keeping the organization running locally, and um, you know spends a great deal of his time because he lives way out in the boonies somewhere drives in to go to events and do presentations and always has a big smile on his face and congr and really encourages new people to it's like he becomes there's something maybe there's something maybe there's a reward inside for the seeing the effects of trying to help people out and uh, that that feeling that goes with that it's certainly not a paycheck at the end of the month so 
and we all need a paycheck at the end of the month or at some point for sure. There's nothing we get nothing against that, but I just thought I'd put it out there because sometimes we we might get the sense or some people might say that you know if only people would volunteer more and so on. Well, there is that going on because these organizations are run on volunteers. And we all pay our part because you got to run the organization, rent the room, etc. So we all chip in in that way, and uh, it it can result in a wonderful experience. I mean, that contest we had the other night was just just first rate for a very much a bunch of amateurs running an event, and it went off well. It was some great humor. Just oh man, it was it was laugh your head off stuff. But we had to be silent the whole time because the idea is we were silent because these are people are really amateurs who are trying to put together a humorous speech or they're doing impromptu speaking which is they're just read out a, a question they've never heard about before and they got to speak to that question right I mean it's not easy yeah, not easy for the best for the most experienced people but Toastmasters were all on different scales of experience some people with almost no experience others with more experience but the whole idea is learning while doing Right, rather than just book work learning, learning while doing. Well, just a few comments on how people, uh, this being evidence that people will do things, uh, in fact, take on responsibilities and help others and improve themselves and so on, without the need for um, monetary compensation. Great chatting again. Steve here. I'll talk again soon. Bye.